Leah Finicchiaro is the leader of the CLP. She is hoping to be the next uh, Chief Minister of the Northern Territory. She joins us now from Darwin. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you on telly. Uh, congratulations today. I watched that leaders' debate performance between yourself and the, uh, the Chief Minister, Michael Gunner. I repeat, you kicked his ass. You came to play. Thank you very much, Paul, and it's great to be with you. And it was terrific to have the debate today. And uh, it's important for Territorians to be able to see the choice of their future Chief Minister and uh, who's got the best interest of the Territory at heart. And I certainly hope I showed that to Territorians today. Now, easiest thing for me to do is for you to list all of the things that are wrong in the Territory, but let's flip this a different way. If you get the chance to lead, what are you going to do for the Territory? Uh, so our focus really is about on growing the Northern Territory. We've got the worst performing economy in the nation, 11,000 less jobs, crimes through the roof. Uh, there's lots of things trending down and we don't like to see it that way. Uh, so my team is strong, it's diverse, it's experienced and we have real life experience, uh, which is an, an absolute attribute unique to the country Liberal Party team going forward. Uh, and we want to unlock private sector investment. We know with a debt as big as $8.2 billion, it's going to be the private sector who will Get, about, get us out of this. So all of our policies are around slashing red tape, fastening approvals timeframes, fast tracking projects and ensuring we tackle those all important crime issues to keep Territorians safe. Also, you know, gas, it's been this issue that sort of will they, won't they, in and out. Uh, Terry Mills, who was of course sort of running this uh, third party option um, on the train, off the train. Where are you on gas and whether there should be more of it in the Territory in the next little while? Well, we're certainly not flip-flopping all over the place like Labor and Terry Mills have on the issue of gas. And uncertainty is something we do not need here in the Territory, and that's why the Country Liberal Party has always backed a safe, robust onshore gas industry here in the Territory. That's always been our commitment. It always will. Uh, we said we'll accept the 135 recommendations of the Pepper Inquiry, but gas is going to underpin our economic future going forward. It's so important as an energy source. It's so important for a manufacturing future for the Territory and it's a critical, uh, important product that we can actually make and manufacture products out of. So it's got an important place in the Territory's future and Territorians know that if they back the Country Liberal Party, they will see a strong onshore gas industry. Now, Michael Gunner, the, uh, the, the Chief Minister, launched on day one of the campaign an extraordinary statement when he said, you know, vote for us to save your jobs and save your life. Now, all of that is, of course, about borders. Now, I don't know how it's playing in the Territory because... Probably unlike anywhere else in the country, you really were the first to get back to normal, right? So you're able to, you know, you've got things like supercars on last weekend, this weekend. You've got the ability to go to the pub, to be able to eat indoor, outdoor, all the rest of it here. Um, is the attitude in the Northern Territory the one that is similar in other parts of the country, which is as long as the border's up, great, the Territory's just for us? Or do you get a sense that they know the Chief Minister is playing games? Oh, look, we've been really fortunate here in the Territory and Territorians certainly want to see it uh, kept that way. We've taken a hotspot management um, approach to our borders and so COVID-free jurisdictions, people are allowed to flow freely into the Northern Territory. Uh, Territorians want to make sure uh, that we're kept safe as possible, but of course that we can have all important uh, trade and interactions with family and, and friends and loved ones interstate from those COVID-free areas. It's been really unfortunate to see the Chief Minister start to politicise the COVID response uh, and they're certainly uh, numbering, you know, using it to their advantage, I'll put it that way. But uh, Territorians see through that because unfortunately they've had to cling uh, to Michael Gunner's every word on COVID. He's engineered the COVID response that way. Uh, and now to be politicising it a few days out from an election uh, is really not what a Chief Minister should be doing on an issue of a national, pan a global pandemic. Leah, all the best. I think this is going to be fun to watch on Saturday night. We'll all be there in the front row watching it here on Sky News. All the best to you and the team. Thank you so much. Great to be with you. Good on you, mate. Nice, refreshing, smiling political leader. God forbid you see that in 2020, especially at a time of such frowny facing at the moment.